Hey YouTube fam, what's up? It's Patrick. I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to a smooth moving vinyasa practice. For today's session as usual, all you need is yourself and your practice space. When you're ready, find a seat, close your eyes, take a moment, allow yourself to settle in. Let your breath be big. Let your breath be long, let it feel really elevated. And that elevation lifts you. It holds you, it carries you. It brings a lightness into your being. Three more breaths here. Don't feel any need to measure them. Simply allow yourself to be. Clink your eyes open. Step your feet out slightly in front of you, and when we will windshield wiper the legs a little bit. So drop your knees to the right and left, respectively, just moving through your hips. And you can go fast or you can go slow here. Either way, try to be deliberate as you shift from internal and external rotation, right? So obviously, both legs are moving from external to internal rotation and from internal to external rotation. So as you find that wave, as you find that bounce, let there be a real clarity to the movement that allows you to feel the structure and to create movement. Your hands can be behind you supporting the activity or your hands can float off the ground. Right? Wherever you go here, do what feels good to you. Notice where you shift. Notice how you organize. When you feel symmetrical, come to center, roll over the ankles and come on to hands and knees. As you get there, circle your shoulders over your wrists a few times. Wiggling around a bit, feel your fingers gripping the floor. Find an organic quality to the movements through your spine, shoulders, and hips. And then find center. Tuck the toes, lift your knees off the ground. Inhale, pull your heart forward. And exhale, round in. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, round in. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, round in. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, round in. Feel your core coming to life here. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, round in. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Exhale, round in. Inhale, pull your heart forward. Push your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Feel all this looseness and freedom in your spine. Lift your hips up and away. Grab the edges of your mat for a moment. Walk your feet a little bit wider. Bend your knees. Feel as though your upper body or your whole body is in an X position. And then really try to pull your hips away. Notice all the length you can find and create in your spine here. Compromising nothing to create the position. Feel your body igniting, coming to life. And then return to your normal physical organization of downward facing duck. Take a moment to notice the difference. Do you feel more active? Do you feel more spacious? Do you feel more centered? Does the position feel just a little bit more available now? As you get there, inhale, roll yourself forwards into plank pose. 
From your plank pose, roll to side plank on the right hand. Reach your left arm up to the sky. And then switch your side. Left hand goes down. Roll to the outer edge of left foot, inner edge of right. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Switching sides. Feel your hips and your chest rolling up on each shift. Switch. 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 Find the flow. Switch. This should be moving you to symmetrical. If it's not, find symmetrical or find balance and then return to plank pose. From your plank pose, lower all the way down onto your belly. Let your fingertips find the floor. Inhale, lift your chest up. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your chest up. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your chest up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your chest up. And exhale, lower. Locust pose, rise. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Work through the space behind your knees. Feel your back body coming to life. Release. Set your hands on the floor as you would to rise to plank pose. And then lift yourself up. Push your hips up and away. Downward facing dog. As you find your downward facing dog, inhale, roll your body back forwards into plank pose and move through a vinyasa. Inhale, stretch your right leg up to the sky. Draw the biggest possible circle right foot steps to the outside of your right hand. As you get there, crawl your hands forward. Be in a really long, low lizard position with your left knee lifted and then just sway your hips around. Let your lift, left big toe drive the motion. Feel a sense of fluidity here. Crawl your hands back underneath your shoulders. Push your hips up and away. Fold to the inside of your right leg. Bend your right knee. Inhale, pull the body forward. Exhale, push your hips up and away. Inhale, pull your body forward. Exhale, push your hips up and away. Inhale, pull your body forward. Exhale, push your hips up and away. Inhale, pull your body forward. Plant your left hand down. Cruise to the outer edge of both feet and reach your right arm up and overhead. On your exhale, right hand to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. As you get there, inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky. Draw the biggest possible circle left foot steps all the way to the outside of your left hand. Bend the left knee, crawl your hands forward. And then drive these circles through the hips from the right foot. Let the right foot be the energy, be the engine of action that's moving energy through your body. Wiggle, wave, sway, sweep. Breathe, be. Be yourself. Be intentional. Be specific with the movement. Allowing everything to have an intention or a purpose. And that purpose doesn't have to be major. It's just something for now. Something that helps you feel tuned into this experience. Crawl your hands back underneath your shoulders. Push your hips back and space straightening through your left leg. Inhale, bend your left knee, pull your body forward. Exhale, push your hips back. Inhale, pull your body forward. Exhale, push your hips back. Inhale, pull your body forward. Exhale, push your hips back. Inhale, pull your body forward. Exhale, push your hips back. Inhale, pull your body forward. Exhale, push your hips back. 
Inhale, pull your body forward, holding here for a moment. Plant your right hand down, roll to the outer edge of both feet. Reach your left arm up and overhead. Find your horizon lunge. Roll through your left shoulder just a little bit more. Feeling a stretch sensation. On your exhale, left hand to the ground. Step back downward, facing dog. Inhale, roll your body forwards into plank pose. And on your exhale, move right through your vinyasa. Intensify, modify, let it be yours. As you make it back into downward facing dog, feel your feet coming to life, helping you lengthen the position. And then look out to your thumbs, lift heels, bend knees, step or spring feet to the outsides of your hands. Active squat is yours. Sit your hips low. Reach your hands forward. Embrace the position. Feel your knees pulling apart. Feel your spine really long. Rise onto your left big toe. Drop your left knee to the floor. Pivot yourself back. Open active squat. Rise to right big toe. Drop your right knee to the floor. Pivot yourself. Open active squat. Rise to left big toe. Drop your left knee to the floor. Pivot yourself. Open active squat. Rise onto right big toe. Drop right knee to floor. Pivot yourself. Open active squat. Bounce your hips a few times here. Feel the strength. Feel the spaciousness. Maybe your feet are a little bit wider. And then sit your hips back in space. Lean your skull forward. Bring your hands to the ground. Crow pose. Knees, triceps, they float. Maybe they come all the way middle. You're there for five, four, three, two, on one. Return to active squat. <laughs> Lift your body up. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. Inhale, reach, hands to the sky. Exhale, sit your hips all the way down. Inhale, hands to floor, elbows bend, your vinyasa. Feel light in your movements, strong and capable in your transitions. You're working through the space that's available to you, the space that engages you right now. Look forward, lift heels, bend knees, step or spring feet to outside of hands. Land gracefully in active squat. Sit your hips low. Again, embrace the position. Feel a long, tall spine. Feel gravity's pull on the inner line of your legs. Rise onto your right big toe. Drop your right knee middle. Pivot yourself open and up. Rise onto left big toe. Left knee drops middle. Pivot your hips open and up. Rise onto right big toe. Right knee drops middle. Open and up. Rise onto left big toe, left knee drops middle. Open, lift up, active squat. Again, hold your low position. Feel your legs alive here, strong, supportive. Push your hips back in space as you leverage your skull out towards the top of the mat. Feeling length in your spine, feeling breath in your side body. Hands to floor, elbows bend, your crow pose. Return to active squat. Embrace the position. Feel new depth. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. Inhale, reach your hands all the way up. Exhale, sit your hips all the way down. Inhale, hands to floor, elbows bend. Your vinyasa. Graceful, light. Intentional. As you make it back into your downward facing dog here, look forward, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, step or spring feet to the outsides of your hands. Inhale, active squat. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. Inhale, reach your hands all the way up. 
Exhale, sit your hips down. Inhale, hands to floor, elbows bent. Vinyasa. Let the energy move. Move with the energy. Be in your flow state. Inhale, lift heels, bend knees. Exhale, step or spring feet to the outsides of your hands. Inhale, <laughs> active squat. Exhale, straighten legs, hands to heart. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, sit your hips down. Inhale, hands to floor, elbows bent. Vinyasa. As you make it into downward facing dog this time, pull underneath the armpits, lift your hips high. Inhale, your right leg lifts. On your exhale, right foot to right thumb. Left knee lowers. Inhale, Anjane Asana. You open through your front body. Exhale, fingertips to the floor. Modified pyramid pose. Lift left knee, straighten right leg as you melt. Bend your right knee, pull your body forwards. High lunge, you lift. Airplane pose, lean your body out, hands by hips, right leg straight, left foot lifting. Bend your right knee, hands to floor, left foot to back of mat, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg lifts. On your exhale, left foot up to your left thumb, right knee lowers. Inhale, Anjane Asana, open through your front body. Exhale, hands to floor. Modified pyramid pose, push your hips up and away. Bend your left knee, high lunge. You rise. Hands swing by hips as you leverage your heart forward. Airplane pose. Strong in your left leg, strong in your spine. Bend your left knee, hands to floor. Step back into downward facing dock. Inhale, wave your body forwards. Plank pose. Exhale, move right through your vinyasa. Always feel free to intensify, modify, or skip vinyasas completely. Inhale, your right leg lifts. Exhale, right foot to right thumb. Left knee lowers. Inhale, open your front body on Janayasana. Exhale, hands to floor. Modified pyramid pose, push your hips up and away. Bend your right knee, high lunge is yours. Reach hands by hips, lean your body forward, airplane pose. From airplane pose, reach your hands out in front of you, warrior three, and then reach your hands out to the sides. Half moon, right hand goes down, left hand goes up. Kick through the outside of your left ankle. Bend your right knee, step back, warrior two. Inhale as you get there, exhale, push your right knee forward. Inhale, exhale, hands to floor, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg stretches to the space above. On your exhale, left foot to left thumb. Right knee lowers, Anjane Asana. You open through your front body. Exhale, modified pyramid pose, hands to floor. Right knee lifts as you fold over a straightening left leg. Inhale, pull your body forward, high lunge. You lift, lean yourself out, airplane pose. You gracefully take off. Feel the strength of your left big toe. Reach your arms overhead, warrior three. Open your arms up to the sides. Roll your right hip up as your left hand reaches towards the earth. Moving into Ardha Chandrasana, your half moon pulse. Bend your left knee. Step back, warrior two. Inhale as you get there. Exhale, push yourself deeper into the stance. Inhale, hold you. Exhale, hands to floor. Step back downward, facing dog. Inhale, wave your body forwards into plank pose. And exhale, move through your vinyasa. Continue to find your breath. 
Continue to be in your balance. Everything available to you. Inhale your right leg lifts. On your exhale, right foot to right thumb. Left knee lowers. Inhale, reach your hands. Up to the sky, you open. Exhale, hands to floor. Modified pyramid pose. Push your hips up and away. Bend your right knee high lunge. Lifts you. Hands swing by sides. Airplane pose. Pulls you forward. Reach your hands overhead. Warrior three. Open your arms to the sides as you roll your left hip up. Half moon. Hold or squeeze left heel to butt. Bend right knee. Try to lower left knee all the way to the outside of the right ankle. And then rise back up into half moon. Working through that sneaky squat action. Step your left foot gracefully to the back of the mat. Warrior two. And hey, exhale, push your right knee forward. Open through your arms. Inhale here. Exhale, left hand to floor. Side plank any way you'd like to take it. Open through your side body. Work through your left shoulder. Drive up. Get longer. Feel more of a lift. On your exhale, close. Everything off, downward. Facing dog. Inhale, wave your body forwards into plank pose. And exhale, move right through your vinyasa. Inhale, your left leg stretches to the space above. Exhale, left foot to left thumb. Right knee lowers. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands the floor, modified pyramid pose. Inhale, pull your body forwards with purpose. Rise into lunge. Soft takeoff, leaning yourself out. Warrior, or excuse me, airplane pose. Reach your arms overhead. Warrior three. Hands by sides, left hand goes down. Right hand and hip go up, half moon. Option to bend your right knee. Bend your left knee. Lower right knee to outside of left ankle. See if you can tap the earth. And then rise back into your half moon pose. Bend your left knee. Step right foot back. Warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Push your left knee forward. Feel strong and balanced in your legs. Exhale. Right hand to floor. Side plank, any way you want to take it. Open the body. Be in your breath. Be intuitive to the space you find. Exhale, close everything off. Downward facing dog. Inhale, way forwards in the plank pose. And exhale, move right through vinyasa. Last time through our sequence here, right leg lifts. Exhale, right foot journeys up to right thumb. Left knee lowers. Open the front body on Janayasana. Exhale, modified pyramid pulse. You fold over your right leg. Bend right knee, pull your body forward, rise up to high lunge. Airplane pose, try to not push off the back left toes, pulling with your right leg. Reach your arms overhead, warrior three, open your arms up, half moon. Option to play with the squat action, if it feels good to you, if not, hold your position. We're all coming right back into half moon anyways before making our gentle journey into warrior two. Push your right knee forward. Feel broad in your stance. Left hand to floor. Side plank on the hands. Root through your left thumb. Really try to open your body. Bridge through your hips. Look towards the top of the mat. Pull your right knee into your chest. 
Step your right foot all the way there. High lunge lifts you up. Skandasana swings you to your back left heel, creating depth. Pull yourself forward, hands to floor, step back, and vinyasa. Inhale, your left leg lifts. On your exhale, left foot to left thumb, any way you want it to arrive. Open your front body. Reach your hands up on Janayasana. Exhale, hands the floor, right knee lifts, left leg straightens, modified pyramid. Bend your left knee, pull your body forward, high lunge. Hands by hips, swing yourself out, airplane pose, take off. Reach your arms forward, find warrior three. Open yourself up, half moon. Hold or play into the squat. Variation, working through the space that excites you, that engages you, whatever that may be. Everyone journeys to warrior two now. Find a lightness and a subtlety in the movement. On your next exhale, right hand to floor, side plank, make it yours. Open through your right side body, Support yourself wherever you feel like maneuvering. Bridge your hips up higher. Look towards the top of the mat. Step your left foot there. Lift your body up to high lunge. Creating space for a pivot to skandasana into your right heel. Pull your body forward, hands to floor. Step back to plank pose and move through your vinyasa. As you find downward facing dog, deep inhale, an audible exhale. Ha. Ah. Deep inhale, and audible exhale, ha. Huh. Look forward, lift heels, bend knees. Your journey, feet to thumbs, feet to thumbs. Inhale to halfway lift, exhale to fold. Inhale to halfway lift, exhale to fold. Inhale, rise, reach your hands up to the sky, get long and tall. Exhale, hands find heart center. Rise onto toes, sit down to your heels. We took a few of these earlier, we'll take one more here. Crow pose, knees, triceps, triceps, knees lean into the hands. If you have crow to tripod, crow to handstand. Take it. You want to linger in toe stand? Wonderful. Either way, we all find Tadasana next. Feel tall, feel shoulders integrated on back body, spine long and lifted. Mind calm and connected. Keep your right foot at the top of the mat. Step your left foot to the back of the mat. All toes pivot left, wide leg, forward fold. Drop down and in. We've been in flow quite a bit here today, so let yourself linger in this position for a few moments. Notice what space you can create.
You crawl your hands forward towards your front right foot. Drop your left knee down. Twisted lizard lunge. Back stroke your right hand to catch the outside of your left ankle. Breathe through your right shoulder. Open through your left hip. Release. Pivot to Skandasana to your back left foot. And then sway to Skandasana to your front right foot. And just kind of play this game here, working through your hips. Bouncing side to side, going to your depth, moving with your breath. And then find wide leg forward fold again. Drop down and in just a bit more. Walk your hands towards your back left foot. Drop your right knee down. Reach around, backstroke, catch the outside of the right foot with the left hand. Notice where your breath takes you. Notice where you find connection. Four more breaths here. Release. Skandasana into your right foot, sweeping across. And then to your left foot, sweeping across. Moving here, bouncing here, finding a physical freedom in this exploration. Maybe you're seeking depth. Maybe you're seeking a stretch. Maybe you're seeking strength. It's good any way you want to move. Just find your availability. Find your awareness. And then wide leg, forward fold. Feel free to stay right here. Linger in the softness or the activity of the stretch. If you want an inversion of any kind, feel free to take it. As you finish, rise up to stand. Push into your right foot. Step your left foot all the way to the top of the mat and shake your hips out a little bit. That was definitely quite a lot. From here, sit your hips low. Passive squat. Passive squat. Should feel quite free after everything we just did. From here, we'll play with what we call circle wheel. It's part of our continuity series in Awakening Yoga. So what you're thinking about doing if you're brand new to it is going from this passive squat position into your wild thing pose. So right hand plants behind you. Drive your hips up. Open through the front body. 
and then sit your hips back to center and switch your side. We take five total rounds, five each direction. If you're comfortable with it and you want to take the full rotation, feel free to move there now. So you're working through the shoulders, working through your spine. working through your hips. Everything moves, everything evolves. And this is the dialogue, the conversation between you and you. The Venn diagram of your being. As you finish, release, roll onto your back. Feel your heart pulsing in your chest. Feel every element of your body alive. We'll take two final back bends here. Bridge, wheel, wheel, bridge, anything else you want in between, by all means, do your thing. Find the space that speaks to you. And release. Give yourself the chance to rest for a moment. This is our last active pose of this practice. Take your time with it. Be diligent, be mindful in your setup process. And when you're ready, let it flow. Let it move. And release. Drop your knees in the middle. Feel gravity's soft pull on your spine, grounding you, holding you to this moment. Knowing that you don't need to be anywhere else. Embrace here. Enjoy here. Trust here. Reclined pigeon pose, bring your right ankle above your left knee. Pull your left leg in towards your chest a bit. The heaviness you bring to your hips determines the stretch sensation. Find what you need. Easy twist to your left. Take the legs any way you'd like to. 
Breathe across your right shoulder. Open through your right side body. Gently come back to center. Unwind the right leg and switch your side softly and simply, moving to reclined pigeon pose. Just as on the first side, remember the weight in your hips determines the intensity of the stretch. The more you push your hips down towards the floor and your right knee towards your heart, the deeper the stretch will be. Maybe you're looking for that, maybe you're not. Acknowledge the space you hold. Carry yourself with care, with compassion. Your awareness to the experience creates empathy, creates understanding. Easy twist to your left. Right, excuse me. Your left leg goes right. Gently twist back to center. <laughs> Unwrap the legs. Take a moment in the middle. And then soft plow pose. Reach your feet up and over your head. Create an introverted space to close or practice a shelter for yourself. When Shavasana is calling your name, take yourself there. Take yourself there. Lean into your own stillness, the stillness you created, the stillness you found, the stillness that's always there when you're willing to look for it. Because the peace we find is the peace we seek. And every new piece of awareness you create in this practice is a new space to explore a new space to learn about yourself. So whether that's the challenge of a pose, the uniqueness of a transition, the capacity to stay focused, all of these things continue to bring you back around, back to the center of you, because there are many paths to the heart of your being, to your essence nature. Allow yourself to walk these roads.
And as you're on these paths, look for the views. Look for the views. Immerse in the experience. It's more than a journey from A to B. It's the journey to yourself, through yourself. And every bit of connection you create along the way is everything you needed to be in that moment. Allowing you to constantly refine and redefine this relationship between you and you, between you and your surroundings, you and your environments, you and those you cherish. Nourish yourself for as long as you need to. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for practicing with me, for being part of this community. I look forward to sharing space with you again soon. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.